All right, y'all, I'm back. You know, um, I started recording and I punched out these flowers and uh, I lost the battery. So, therefore, oh, I lost all that footage. Not liking that, but that's okay. We can use the black side. Okay, so what I did was I pulled out another piece of paper. And um, this is the pink polka dot. Um, and it's got the black on the back side. And um, I pulled out these um, flower punches. Oops, sorry for that glare. That was craziness. Okay. <laughs> um, and then this one. Um, and I just punched out these little flowers. And at first I was just going to do the pink polka dot, but I'm actually liking the black. And um, so I have a couple of these little flowers. And, um, and I was inking the edges. However, hmm. You know, I don't think I'm going to ink the edges. Um, and you really can't tell on this one anyway, so if I stop, well, we'll finish it off. Um, I don't like the black that's coming on the pink, that's getting on the pink, so um, that's my problem, y'all. Um, so, yes, I still, I think I explained to y'all that I... There, I do not know what I'm doing currently, which you probably already get. Um, I wonder if I... No, I'm not going to do it. I think it was Judy there again had a good idea to use the Tim Holtz markers. Um, which I guess I'm going to have to get some because I don't have any currently. But um, Because I don't... Sometimes I like that distressed look and then sometimes I don't. Did I say that twice? <laughs> That was a Freudian, a, Fleur, a Freudian slip, wasn't it? Or something like that. <laughs> sometimes I like the distressed look and sometimes I don't. Um, as you probably can tell from most of the stuff I do, it's it's not one. I like it. It's just it doesn't come from me, you know. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so but basically I'm just manipulating these leaves, folding them up, kind of bending them just to kind of make a flower shape. Um... Nothing fancy here, y'all. No tools. <laughs> I know you can use this to, like, curl them, but, you know, I, I don't do that either. Um, I think they're fairly cute just the way that they are. That's just my opinion. But, um, so, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to use a flower. I don't know yet. You know, that could change. Y'all know how I am. I wonder, how are y'all feeling about that? I'm not exactly sure. And um, the little flower, hmm, I think we need one more big flower. Um, so I will just punch out another one. This big flower may be too big for what we're trying to do. I'm not sure. We won't really know until we get it going. See, I, I kind of like the alternated. I might ought to do the, um, hmm, let me think about this for a moment. Yeah, let's do the, although this looks like no flower that I have ever seen. There's that bad grammar again. <laughs> oh, yesterday was so funny. We were sending emails back and forth. Um, my coworkers, um, we were working on a checklist and there was probably about eight of us copied on it <laughs> and, um, they had already had a full conversation before I got involved. Like there was like, you know, five or six emails that had already been going back and forth. And, uh, <laughs> um, and one of the things that they had already talked about, I had already built into a checklist. And so I, I, <laughs> I kept, I, I sent him, I said, well, he, I sent him a copy of my checklist, and I said, well, here it is, this is what you're looking for, it's at the bottom, other than that, I got nothing, <laughs> and then they said, well, we need to add this, you know, into the conversation that we first had with the customer initially, I said, oh, it's in my checklist, it's at the top, <laughs> other than that, I got nothing, <laughs> that was my only, uh, input into the whole, uh, conversation. It was, I, I thought it was pretty funny, but <laughs> I got nothing. That's all I got. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, I'm not feeling it. I don't know. It's so hard to say. Although, maybe. Let me put my little, um, 
So y'all can't see anything. Let me, um, it's not done, obviously, but this is kind of the concept. Hmm, I'm not sure. I do like the little pink butterfly, I think. Yeah, I did punch out a little butterfly as well with my Martha Stewart punch to cover up that little white space that I don't like. And it is a, a pink polka dotted one. I'm liking the additional color um, and the black flower, it kind of pulls it out, it kind of makes mental sense to me, but I'm not sure yet. Alright, so I'm just kind of manipulating these small flowers to just nothing special, just kind of giving them a little bit of a flower shape. One day I really want to start playing around with um, layouts. I've never really been very good at that either, um, but I love that whole that whole thing. Um, I watch, uh, I think it's um, Glitter Girl. Have y'all heard of that? Do you ever watch any of those? Um, if you like to watch videos about layouts, which I'd love to watch videos about layouts, but I just don't, you know, work on them or anything yet. But um, Glitter Girl, she has amazing layouts. Um, I want to say she's two peas in a pod. Um, but um, it's, they're just so cute, and I just enjoy watching her videos. Um, I feel like one day when I sit down and finally do a layout with things that I've learned from her, I'll probably just be able to do it, right? I don't know. But she talks about, you know, how placement of things and that kind of thing, which is very interesting to me. All right. Well, this will definitely be an interesting card. You know what I should do? I wished I had a balloon punch. I don't have a balloon punch, but I do have a rather cut, scan and cut. Um, so, you know what, just to have options, which I can use these somewhere else, I think I'm going to cut some of those balloons out. And um, I'll be back, y'all. Give me a moment. I'll be back. I'm back. Um, so I cut some balloons out with my brother Scan and Cut. I got some pretty big ones. Those are, might be just way too big though. Um, but I did cut three of these small ones. Um, <clears throat> they're really cute. I like them. And I thought I could play around with some jute or something if I have some jute. Um, and um, I, kind of along the lines of what somebody told me, I have these Sharpies and I'm going to see if I can outline them without being too messy and that seems to be working out okay for me so far I really hope I don't mess this up though because this was the last sheet of my polka dot paper <laughs> in that small stack I do have the um, eight and a half by eleven but those polka dots might be a little too big maybe So kind of the same theory. I wonder, should I? Yeah. Okay. So it just kind of outlines them a little bit. I don't mind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. It's not perfect, but I guess homemade cars are not meant to be perfect. Although I've seen an awful lot of pretty perfect homemade cards out there on YouTube. <laughs> Man, I tell you, some people are just so good at making cards. I really think it's a talent. I don't know why I think anything that we do is a talent, but I think cards is different. I don't know why I feel that way, but I guess because I'm just not used to doing them. 
and you know, people, I think people who can do layouts, they can probably do cards really well too, and vice versa. Eh, oh, sorry about that. It went off the page a little bit on the back side, so. All right. And, you know, the back side is black, and I, I thought maybe I should try to put some black on there, but I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that, so. All right. Since we are not going to use these big balloons, I'm going to put them over here with the rest of my die cuts that I haven't used. And I hope I like that. I really do. Um, Alright, so I'm thinking... I wonder if this is dry. I'm thinking we need a pop dot for sure on here. I'm thinking this should be three-dimensional and before I put them on here I might want to figure out my whole string situation so I know y'all can't really see that but I was trying to cover up that white. <laughs> it didn't work out so well. So I'll probably definitely have to put something there in that corner. Which is fine. We can figure that out when we get to it. Okay, so I'm thinking... Alright. Put that up there, kind of a little bit up there that right there and then we'll have like a little string hmm how do I feel about that all right let me go and find some string I'll be back okay I found some Baker's twine um, and this is not exactly perfectly white but I think that will have to do I don't think I have any white white um, let me just see if that bothers me. I just can't tell at all. I wished, let's see, we'll put it next to the beige. Next to the beige, it looks white. Um, and it is the same color as the polka dot. Alright, so here we go. So I'm just going to tie this to the best of my ability. And I'll probably put a little bit of glue behind it just so it doesn't, or something, to, to keep it from falling off. Because uh, it probably will fall off. <laughs> um, though this little, uh, the little end of the balloon is wider than so it might it might stay on there if I tie it well enough. I'll see if I can tie a teeny tiny bow. That is really asking for some high skill level for me. I don't know if I can do that. I think if I do that though, I think I need more end. All right, so is this how cards are made? <laughs> Do they take this long? <laughs> I guess, I guess maybe they can. <laughs> I might have a record for the longest card, <laughs> the longest video of making a, a pretty simple card. <laughs> um, I don't know. But you know, most people, maybe some people that do videos, already have it well thought out. <laughs> mm. 
And you know, I don't have anything thought out, so... I mean, I have ideas, but... I don't have an actual blueprint of what I'm trying to do, so... Okay. Let's do that tight, and hopefully I don't tear it. And it's really cute, though. I like it. Alright. See? The bow's a little big, but I'm, I'm liking the bow. Alright. So... I will put just a little, oh, you know, I still have my hot glue. I'm just going to put a, a, just a dab on there. Because that will definitely hold it. Alright. Yeah, that will hold it good. Alright, so I'll let that dry. And uh, try to get the glue strings off there. And we'll cut it. We're going to leave it long for now because I don't really know how I'm going to terminate it. Alright, so that was one. That was three minutes. So in nine minutes we should have some balloons. <laughs> I did use these balloons before um, in a mini album that I did for a little girl, which I have a video for it. It's a while ago that I did it. And I did, um, I used a paper house. I think it's called paper house paper. And it's pink and purple and has unicorns and butterflies and ballerinas. I like the album. I thought it turned out really cute. I did it for my neighbor's uh, granddaughter. And um, I think she really liked it, too. Um, I haven't actually seen her, but uh, she did call me and she left me a message. Alright. Okay, just making my bow just a little bit tighter and neater. And then I'll make use this hot glue again because I really like that. Alright. Looks nothing will break that bond apart now. <laughs> eh. Unless you drop it on your paper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I have a crazy amount of glue strings, though. So, when we started, it was about... Was it 6.30? I don't know, it's 8.14 now, so... <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how long it takes me to do a project, a simple... Well, I guess it should be simple. But you know what, though? If it were simple, everyone would do it, wouldn't they? All right. I do imagine that it is simple for some people. They probably do them a lot. This has got, I had a little glue issue. I got on some of my baker's twine. It's clear, but I can feel it, so. I wonder if I should glitter up my balloons, too. I don't know. Okay. So last night was pretty quiet. You know, I'm still on call. I don't get off call until Monday. Um, I, there was some maintenance on some servers, so... But I didn't have to do anything, so that was good. Um, if I get through today, it'll be a miracle. But generally, when you get on call on the weekend, it 
generally comes on Sunday, but it has been really quiet this week. I think a ton of people are taking vacation, so I might get lucky. Um, I might not get a call. Which would be great. <laughs> um, on call is like the hardest part about being an IT person. Um, you know, because in your regular life, you, you, you know, the odds are that you're going to be able to do something to somebody's server during business hours is rare. Um, you can't really do anything during business hours if it's going to change something drastically. Uh, which anything can change it drastically, so you have to be really, really careful. Um, because that that's the worst thing that could happen to you is if, you know, somebody's down and can't work. So, <clears throat> so, you, you know, regularly you work after hours anyway. You have to. You know, it's not, when you get hired, it's not really in your, the conversation that you have you know, with the manager who's hiring you. Um, it's just basically, I have certain clients that I work with on a regular basis, and I care about them enough that I do not want to cause them any downtime during the day. So therefore, I dedicate a, a pretty big chunk of my after hours, you know, doing things, you know, like updates and that kind of thing. Um, so when you're on call, it just quadruples it. It's, you know, you... And if you have the unfortunate... Well, you know, it's unfortunate for me. It's more unfortunate for the customer. But if something really happens where you are working all night, that's really bad. It just makes your week, like, really crazy. Um, all right. Sorry, I keep saying um... I'm really trying to work on that. And I hope I didn't decide to do the black because I already have glue on there, so it's too late for that. Um, unless I print some more. Okay. Alright, so I think my glue is dry. Let's just do a dry fit here real quick and see what we've got. I mean, I think it's kind of cute. Alright. Let's see here. There. I really need to bring this higher. I could go really high. Why well, couldn't I? There's no rule that says I can't go up there. And then put that one there. Put that one there. I know I've got some crazy string stuff going on. Filling that little pearl there. Hmm. I could be filling the butterfly though. I could live with the butterfly, although the butterfly is on the wrong side. <gasps> hey. Hey. Who says it can't go there? <laughs> Let's get our little pearls off there. <laughs> I don't know if y'all couldn't see that. Or maybe you did. <laughs> Move. <laughs> How am I going to get these strings to behave nicely? All right. I'm going to put this up here. Like that. That one there. I think I do need to cut my little lines, my little strings, I mean. Go ahead and trim them. And you know, I do have these little folds, which I'm not sure I'm overly happy with that. Um, I am an ironer. I iron all the time. If I go out, I iron my t-shirts. <laughs> so, it's, it's bothering me. 
So what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to try and hopefully I don't kill my uh, balloons here. I'm going to see if this heat will kind of straighten them out. I don't think it would. I don't know, we'll see. I wonder if I hold them this way. There you go. That's how y'all iron jute. <laughs> so that worked pretty decently. <laughs> okay. You might just want to keep that that blow that um heat tool away from your body. It was kind of close to mine. <laughs> it didn't burn me, but it could have. <laughs> Alright. It's like running with scissors, you know. Alright. Okay, so I like that sort of. All right, I'm glad we didn't glue that um, chalkboard down. I'm thinking we'll do a little knot here. That's what I'm thinking. All right, to kind of keep it together. Might have done that a little higher, actually, but, hmm, I think I would like that a little higher. Because usually when balloons are tied together, they're tied up real high. Okay. All right. I think I can live with that. And then there's no rule to say that that can't go here. And let's see what we're going to do here. Let's get that behind here. There we go. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we went through that and I decided not to do it? <laughs> I think I'm going to stick it down, though. I think I'm good with it. I think it's sweet. It's a good first card for this weekend. <laughs> and this would technically be my first official cut everything out and... I mean, this, this card's really from scratch. If I've made a card before, it's usually with, like, a card kit. Oh, come on. That stuff's got to come off. Really? Oh, my goodness. It's a little bit hard to get off. I think I was going to... No? Are these, like, different types of pop dots that I'm not... I'm supposed to remove adhesive from? No, nope, there we go. Alright. Oh, isn't that funny? These might not be those type. <laughs> I may have to go back and look at that. Um, but that's okay. We got hot glue. Ugh. I'm messing up my... I, I better think about this in a minute because I just messed everything up here. put that on the bottom. We'll put that right there. Alright. We're just going to commit, y'all. We're just going to go with it. And hopefully that is where I want everything
Okay. Oh, this is a lot of hard work. Okay. Oh, I committed y'all. I got them down. Oops. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right here. I kind of want that paper to show just a little bit. I do. I get so many hot glue burns. Yeah, I think I want that up just a little bit higher. So I have to commit now. It is what it is. I know there's this little place here, but I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. Maybe. I don't know, it might be cute when we're done. Oh. Ooh. Careful, Susan, you got glue going everywhere. All right. Happy birthday. All right. All right, that's what we have so far, but we are not done yet. We're kind of needing something up there. All right, and I have an idea. I get all this glue off of me. Uh oh. That was a phone text. Okay. Oh, you know what? If I had patience, I would cut that banner out. But I don't have that kind of patience, so. Okay. Yep, I've got electronic devices everywhere, beeping and ringing and making sounds. What that is probably is a server did not come back up for one reason or another. Y'all, we have probably we have a probably a couple hundred clients, so you might think, wow, you sure do have a lot of issues, but really for the amount of clients that we have, we don't have that many issues, so. Um, like myself, I have probably, um, I don't know, how many do I have that call me on a regular basis? Probably six, maybe. Um, but I work with all the clients. But I have six that I am their primary IT person and I do everything for them. Um, they're mine. <laughs> and I'm very possessive. Alright. Um, so I take very good care of them, or at least I try. Um, I don't know. I think I'm feeling it. All right, we're going to come. I wish I could talk to y'all. I wish I could say, yeah, no, not so much. Or, yeah, that looks good. Or, <laughs> what do y'all think? I don't know. I'm thinking that it repeats up there at the top, so that's a good thing. It takes, it fills in my little space. <laughs> All right, I might stick this down. Otherwise, when I come back, I'm going to come back with a finished card. <laughs> I 
I will see y'all in just a few moments. All right, y'all. The time is 9.30. So y'all know what time I started this card. <laughs> and I'm not done. I have to make an envelope. But I'm going to go ahead and call this done. I'll make my envelopes later. And if anybody is interested in that, let me know. Because it should be interesting, to say the least. Um, so this is my very first card experience such as this. Um, after I left y'all, um, I did add a little something to that empty space. And then, <laughs> y'all, it's so funny. Um, you know how I was going to put it on white cardstock? Well, I had to measure it, right? So I measure this corrugated paper. It's six by six. So what does that tell you? That tells you that it's probably not going to go on a 12 by 12 piece of card base um, that's going to be too big. <laughs> so any new card makers out there, in the beginning... <laughs> Think of that. Uh, you only have 12 by 12, unless you buy some other type of paper on a roll. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so I had to do some um, creative work, and the scrapbooker came out in me, and this is what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and break it out and show y'all. And it's not completely dry, y'all, so um, I'm going to try to be very careful, because if I ruin it, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> so... Um, let me uh, push that up just a little bit so you can see the whole card. Okay, there it is. That's my birthday card. Um, I did I put that little banner there and then I added these pearls because I didn't like that space. And then I added this pearl down here and I added this butterfly. And there's my corrugated. I cut my um, white cardstock at six and um, a quarter. Yeah. And then I cut this cardstock at six and a half. So, what did I do since I didn't um, have the, a large enough paper? What I did is I made a pocket, y'all. <laughs> the scrapbooker came out. And I'm like, what would you do in this situation? Well, I would make a pocket. So, I made a library-style pocket. And I'll put my name stamp on, which I don't have one. But I'm going to figure out some way of putting an attractive name, whatever, on the back of it. Made by whatever. Um, so, it's, it's, a, it's a library pocket. <laughs> And, um, and I made a card <laughs> to go inside the card. Y'all, I am such a nerd. Okay, I never knew how hard this would be. And I really respect all you card makers out there. Um, this was very difficult. <laughs> and it took me how many? Three hours? Um, so I made another card. And um, I left it blank so they could write whatever they wanted to in there. And um, this is 8.5 by 11. So I had to use my 8.5 eight and by 11 paper pad. Well, still my paper wasn't quite wide, wide enough. So what I did is I added this, um, this trim here on the end to um, make it long enough. And then when I was cutting the trim, I accidentally dipped down <laughs> onto the side. <laughs> so I added a butterfly. But I think it all works. Um, I think it's cute. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Though it was a learning experience, um, and, and, and though it is probably not a typical card, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it, I think it makes sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I have that. It's very three-dimensional, and it'll still fit in an envelope, the one that, for which I will have to make. Um, but, you know, I carried my butterfly, even though it's black. I did that on purpose because it stood out more so than the pink. Um, and plus, you got the black up here and the black down there, so... I don't know, you guys. What do y'all think? <laughs> Let me know. This is card number one. So it took three hours for card number one. <laughs> and there's how many hours in the day that I can possibly craft? Twelve cards might be a little more than I can handle. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the second card will go much better. Anyway, I want to get this out here for you guys for Saturday morning, as it is Saturday morning. Um, let me know what you think. You guys have a great day. I'll see you at card number two. Bye.